everyone welcome back to my channel um so today i like to show you the plants i have in my spare bedroom um hatsa because i have very limited space and i have too many plants so they actually don't have too much space between them so if you cannot see the plants well um i am really sorry um so here we go the first one in front of you is uh, Pozo's uh, Marble Queen. I love the variegation and I actually have probably three <laughs> Marble Queen in my collection. It sounds a little bit creepy. Um, yeah, I just love uh, Marble Queen. And the next one is uh, this uh, Hard Leaf Philodendron, another really common houseplant. I have had this for over a year and it's been growing very well for me um i believe the scientific name is uh heterosium or scandens i know often times they are labeled as cordatin but i believe it's a mistake because based on my research cordatin should only be found in brazil it's pretty uh, it's a really unique plant so i i believe scandens or heterosium should be the proper scientific name for the Harley philodendron. Next one is uh, um, philodendron burly marks. I show you this one in my uh, last video for the um, plant hole. I got this one on uh, Hertz Gardens. And next it's a uh, neon potos. Look how bright the color is. It's just so beautiful. Love this one too. It's really easy to grow. Like postals and philodendron, they are so easy to grow and they're just so like amazing. Uh, they don't require much care. I think everyone should have postals and uh, uh, philodendron. And next one is my um, green uh, prayer plant. Uh, it's a maranta. Um, marantas, uh, in general, I think it are easy to take care of compared to calatheas. To be honest, I have killed a few calatheas. But marantas, I have never had any issues with marantas. And look at this leaf. Like, it's just so beautiful. Pink. A little bit brown and green I love this one and this one is, has been yeah doing well for me so and next one is a uh, neon philodendron the hard leaf philodendron so it's a skin dense too look at the leaves and I have the uh, the neon philodendron and the neon photos side by side and next one, uh, I have two peperomias here, and I believe uh, there are peperomia classifolia. Um, one is uh, bicolor, the other one is uh, tricolor uh, with pink margins. So I show you these two guys in my peperomia collection video. Next, of course, you know what this is. This is golden posos. This one has been doing really well for me too. It's been going pretty long. Love this one too. And next one. Uh, this is a uh, philodendron Brazil. I have multiple philodendron Brazil too. As you can imagine, I'm a crazy uh, plant lady. And then the next one is, uh, yeah, it's one of the plants I got from Trader Joe's, which I don't really know the name of, but um, thanks to a viewer, she thinks it might be a Little Hope, Philodendron Little Hope, and I think it also could be a Deja Vu. Uh, yeah, I think it's probably one of these two. Uh, okay, so the next one, um, it's a uh, Gasteria. Uh, I don't think you can see well. Because it's pretty, um, 
yeah, it's kind of dark right now. So, and then this, uh, the others, I don't think I'm gonna go over because it's too dark, and most of them are uh, Sensibarias. And I'm gonna do my uh, Sensibaria collection video soon, hopefully. And there are also a couple of uh, Castorias, like this one on the left. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's, it's too dark right now, so I don't want to go over each one of them. So here, uh, you can see a... Uh... Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is a east-facing window. So this is a fishbone cactus, which I already showed you in my previous video. And next to it is uh, another pothos. This one is a uh, silver pothos. Look how big the leaves are. It's crazy. This one's doing really well too. Like the leaves. So pretty. And then next. Oh, oh. Sorry, this is another um, Peperomia. This is the one with uh, the pink margins too. Um, so it's um, classifolia. So and then next to it is a, a spider plant, a variegated uh, spider plant. This one has been growing like crazy for me. Uh, I think I already mentioned in one of my previous videos that I actually got a very small baby from my coworker uh, around maybe two years ago. It's been growing like crazy. Look how many babies it has right now. Yeah, it's one of the easiest houseplants you can grow. I really don't know what to do with this. I don't think I'm gonna proper propagate, so I'll just leave it like that. And uh, actually, there is a, this one I want to show you. So I just um, posted a video because I wanted to take it out. It's It was right next to the spider plant, but because the spider plant is so huge so you can really see this one so the reason why i wanted to, to feature this one is because if you have if you watch my easy house plants uh video you will see that it was really laggy so what i did was how um i would treat a succulent like i just behaved it and i put the top part uh the very top parts in the in water for propagation and the bottom part is just that basically they just like there were um, new leaves coming coming in from the the bottom. So I probably left one to two inches above the soil uh, surface. That's where I cut the the top parts, and it's been working and it's doing well. And it's, uh, the top parts they are e easy to propagate in water. So if you actually your uh, Moses of Credo um, became laggy, that's what you can do. It, it, uh, it worked for me and I think it's looking great. I will link the video down below so you can see uh, what it looked like before. Also the, the time stamp if you don't want to watch the rest of the video. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's my Moses in the Credo. Okay. Moving on, so we're, we're okay, we're, we're, we're talking about the spider plant. So this one is uh, another pothos. Um, I think this is uh, Enjoy. I have both Enjoy and uh, Pearl and Jade, and I compare this one to both of them. I think this looks more like Enjoy um, because I got this one at maybe Lowe's or Home Depot. They didn't label it. Maybe they label it as mini marble queen, but I think it, it looks more like enjoy than pro and jade. So I'm gonna label it as uh, enjoy. If you disagree, please let me know. Okay, so moving on. So we have this one. Uh, it's another philodendron. So this is a philodendron variegated um, soul tooth. It's I don't know if you can see the variegation well. Look at the shape of the leaves so interesting I got this one from NSD Tropicals moving on so I you guys already saw this one in my last video so this is a um, philodendron orange marmalade 
so yeah look at the two leaves the colors are ah i don't think you can see well but one is more orange one is more green and then the next one is another philodendron i'm gonna put the name on the screen because i don't know how to pronounce the name this one i think it's still recovering so i'm gonna give it some time to recover if it doesn't do well then i will have to do something maybe move it to another location um so here's a rubber tree or rubber plant i have had this one for over a year it's one of the oldest rubber trees i have this is um uh ficus uh, elastica uh tiniki i have quite a few uh, rubber trees and i love them uh, moving on. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Uh, this is another mar mar uh, marble queen. Yeah. Okay, so this one is uh, another one I already showed you in my previous video. It's a uh, rapid, uh, Rapidophora tertrisperma. So. This one, I don't know, it's still trying to adapt to the new environment. It's not doing so well, and we will see how it goes. But it's the shape of the leaves. Yeah, this one, not too well. And this is uh, just a manu tree. Surprisingly, I have two. One is in, in my office without uh, really sunlight from the window because it's far away from the window. And that one is actually doing much better than this one. I I really don't know why. That one has a lot of a lot of leaves, and this one just like ah, eh, it's doing okay, but not so great. I really don't know why. Next, uh, we have a uh, uh, Tethabakia um, uh, Camille. I believe it's Camille. Yeah, this one has been doing really well for me. I have had this for like over a year too. Uh, next is uh, lip lipstick plants. I I think I, I can try to research for the scientific name. I got this one at uh, Walmart and of course you know most of the time their plants are not in great condition so when I got it, it wasn't yeah it didn't look so good but um, I think it looks yeah I, I, I'm seeing a lot of new growth so I'm happy and this one has got really thick leaves which I like and next is uh, another Defenbachia and uh, it's Defenbachia compacta I got this one from Trader Joe's I just love the the leaves I have another Defen, Defenbachia or Defenbachia um, in my bedroom it's a uh, tropic snow that one is doing really well too if you want easy to care for houseplants, uh, different bakia is definitely a good option. So the last one is uh, this one. Uh, this one is uh, Ficus altissima. Um, it's also known as a console tree, and this one is a variegated version. If you are interested um, in this plant, I believe her garden had it. Um, it was like $14.99 for 6 inch and now they don't have it anymore but if you're interested I think you can check back to see when they will have it available just love the leaves I got this one on eBay okay so so this is uh, uh, Peperomia uh, this is a Peperomia Mapurensis I show you this guy in the Peperomia collection video. And the underside of the leaves is um, burgundy. Very pretty. Hmm. I, I, for some reason. Okay, yeah. Good. Okay. Moving on. Um, so we can start from here. This is a uh, Bladendron Moonlight.
And next one is uh, another neon color plant I have. It's Philodendron uh, Golden Emerald. Next, uh, this is of course, you know, this is a, a Wandering Jew. And next one is another um, Peperomia Crossifolia. And uh, yeah, so this one actually has more pink. And also the leaves are thicker than um, the other ones I have. And here's another Pothos. This is a sat Satin Pothos. So it looks very similar to the, the silver pozos, but when you look at the leaves, they actually look different. And this is a Pilea uh, guaca. This one is really easy to grow. Um, yeah. So the last one is actually this uh, another silver um, satin. Um, but this one was labeled as silver uh, splash. I think silver splash and silver satin are the same. I mean, when you put them side by side, they look kind of different, but I think they are the same. I am not sure. I think there is only silver and satin, right? There is no more. I mean, the for the plants that look like this, look similar, right? So I believe they are the same, but I am not 100% sure. But yeah, this one was labeled silver splash. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, so hope to see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.